Hi everyone, this is Linda, and I am showing you my new AirSense 11. This is the latest CPAP from Respironics. Uh, I think they came out maybe three weeks ago. I don't remember. Um, so this is going to be just a really quick video about how to access the clinical settings. So normally with the older machines, I think um, you press the home button and the um, knob, but because this is all completely completely touch screen um there is no knobs um so what you do is just take your two fingers like this put it on the my option section and my sleep view section hold it and then you enter the clinical home setting now i do want to uh, put a disclaimer out there that you should use the clinical home settings at your own risk this is normally what the respiratory therapist sees and adjusts when you bring uh, your CPAP to them. So again, like I said, these two fingers on the touch screen hold into the clinical home pops up. And then you got the settings here. And, um, you know, it's not really that much different on the clinical setting side versus um, the side that the patient usually sees. It does look like for the AirSense 11, uh, let's exit, sorry, just so you can see what I mean. So um, for the AirSense 11, it looks like your the options, the comfort settings that are accessible to you are pretty similar to the clinical settings. Um, so the normal features would normally be, you know, you can adjust the ramp time, you can turn on pressure relief, uh, so I have climate control here because I do have the heated tubing right here. Uh, do note that the heated tubing on the 11 is not the same as the heated tubing on the 10. Let me show you. So this is the heated tubing for the AirSense 10. The knob is bigger, slightly different. And if I try to put this on my 11, it will not fit in the, I don't know what to call this, like the hole of where your tubing goes in here. So this is the 11 heated tubing versus the 10 heated tubing. Um, I don't know if you can see, I don't want to take it out, but um, it's slightly smaller, the input here, compared to the 10. The 10 is slightly bigger has these things on the side here. So when you're buying heat tubing, make sure you buy the 11, which unfortunately is now not out for sale on the market right now. If you want to get the 11 climate control heated tubing, you, I think, wait, sorry. I think it's called a uh, climate airline 11. If you want to get that heated tubing, you actually have to ask your um, distributor. So I asked the Apria and they said that my doctor had to write a prescription for it. So my doctor wrote a prescription for it. Apria, Apria sent me the heated tubing. Um, they also actually sent me the, the 10. And so that's why I have the 10. Um, but yeah, they're very different. Okay, let's go back here to the options. So if you don't have the heated tubing, you won't gain access to climate control. You'll just have the default humidity settings, which is one through eight. Um, you got smart stop, start and smart stop, mass settings, etc., etc. Okay. You got the my sleep view, which is like a simplified version of like the data um, that your respiratory therapist usually gets. And you got plus more here, so you have warm up. Highly recommend the warm up for those who use the humidifier. This warms up your humidifier tank. Yeah, I'm not going to go through all this in detail, so I'm just going to go back and just show you. There we go, we're in clinical home settings. Um, yeah, and these are the extra settings that the clinical side usually sees. See, as you can see, it's not that much different, but there are some extras here that you can't adjust on your own. 
I like to put mine on EPR level three for maximum comf comfort when I exhale. I believe it is um, exhale pressure. Um, correct me if I'm wrong if EPR is not exhale pressure, but yeah, basically just makes breathing more natural and easier for you. Um, yeah. And again, like I said, use the clinical settings on your own discretion. Uh, I'm not liable for anything wrong that happens when you enter your clinical settings. Um, it's just I wanted to show people how to access it because it is different from like the AirSense 10 and the older models. It's also different from the Philips Respironic machines. And as you all probably know, Philips Respironic had a recall. Um, so Philips Respironics aren't on the aren't really for sale on the market um, unless you buy a used one. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if I'm talking around in circles. Um, I am insomniac and I also have sleep apnea. So that really messes your brain and how coherent I speak. But hopefully you understand at least half the things that I'm saying here. I hope this was useful. Um, again, I'm going to repeat, repeat the disclaimer. The clinical settings is usually meant only for your respiratory therapist, therapist or clinician to access. But some people just like to access it for additional comfort settings that they want to adjust on their own uh, without having to go to their um, their sleep apnea clinic and whatnot to make that those adjustments for you. Um, if you have an APAP, the machine should auto adjust the pressures for you. But one of the things that the clinical setting has is you can set, I think the pressure ranges, which you normally wouldn't be able to set on the normal settings. Um, where is it? Let's see. Yeah, those stuff you really want to be careful when you mess with um, because obviously if you get too low of a pressure, you'll get more apnea events and hypopnea events. If you adjust it too high, then it's really uncomfortable and it's really hard to kind of um, acclimate to the machine. So that is why the clinical settings is usually um, not accessible to the general patient. Um, because they just don't want you to mess things up um, and make your CPAP therapy worse rather than better. All those clinical settings are meant to improve your experience using the CPAP. And so it's highly advisable you go to your respiratory therapist, but if you know what you're doing, and again, I'm not responsible for whatever happens, then uh, that simple touch is all you really need to fine tune those settings. So. Sorry I've been repeating myself, but yeah, hope this was helpful.